so the hunting area where we'll, we, we will be hunting today and the next couple of days is located in, a, in the southern part of the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees is a mountain range that covers most part of the northeastern part of Spain and divides what is France from Spain. Um, and this specific place where we will be hunting is around 35,000 hectares. It's, it's a very huge territory with, with, I would say, probably the healthiest uh, Pyrenean Shama population that we have in Spain. Um, it's more or less, I mean, it's slight it's light figures and it's not, it's not uh, something we 100% we know, but the estimation is that we have around uh, 5,000 uh, chamois in this in this area out of which every year around 150 and 180 licenses between males females and youngsters are are issued every year so that's a way to 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 tell everyone that the hunting pressure in these areas are are, are very low and that's the best way to guarantee uh, uh, a quality hunt We, previous to John's arrival uh, to Spain, we had been uh, pre-scouting the areas, which is something it's, that is very important to highlight when, when, when people come to Spain in, to, to hunt with us in the mountains. We do a great effort in scouting the areas before the hunter arrives to have a, uh, a good idea of where the, uh, the big, big males are. So we started hunting at about 1500 meters, as, as I said, and we had a fairly good idea of where to, to look for those males. At this point in the year, it's, it is November, uh, the rutting season, it's, it's just about to get to its peak. So there's a lot of activity uh, within a single day of hunting. You might, you should see around between, uh, let's say 150 to 200 uh, chamois per day uh, on a normal day. I mean, if the weather is good, shouldn't be any problem at all. So, so as we started today, we started seeing the very first chamois, all of which are beautiful. Uh, I mean, the color at this time of the year is looking beautiful with such a big contrast between the whitish and the black part of their face. They look uh, very, very beautiful. It's very nice to see in the mountains. Hello everyone, I'm Alvaro Mazón from Camino Real Hunting Consultants. And well, the reason for this show is to, to, to spread the word about the uh, hunting grounds that we, that we hunt in Spain for Pyrenean chamois, which as everyone knows, in Spain we have two different uh, chamois species. We have the Cantabrian chamois and the Pyrenean chamois. And um, our hunters from, from today have traveled all the way from the US. We met them uh, almost a year ago at SCI show. And, uh, and they wanted to come for a Pyrenean chamois hunt. So, so we will be showing you guys uh, what hunting in our territories is really about. And hopefully you, you can enjoy our, our experience. I will put three bullets in the magazine, okay? That's what I was thinking. <coughs> okay, there you go. Okay, Jon. Welcome to Spain. Thank you. We're hunting in the Pyrenees for Pyrenean chamois, which as you know is one of the two species that we have in Spain. We're hunting in what I think is probably one of the prime areas in Spain. We have a very healthy population of, of chamois. And even though the weather doesn't look very nice today, I think we should we should see plenty of them and looking forward to it and hope you enjoy, eh? Oh, this is perfect weather. Good for hiking. Excellent. It's the right temperature, just cool enough, a little bit of air. It's good. Excellent. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's go and I hope you enjoy, eh? Let's go. Let's go.
started watching the first first show was he's he's a bit too young to what we are looking for today uh, so we we will continue for forward a bit and see what what the day holds for us but it's beautiful eh? We've seen a few Xiaomi already. The day is very, looking very good. Um, I think we're not seeing as much rod as we should see at this time of the year, but anyways, we're seeing some very nice ones and we, we, we hope to get a stock on, on either of these two or continue the, the valley and, and continue seeing some other ones. and the face yeah, and the stands out a lot of white, very black, black, black here he's very beautiful he's got a very nice shape too right in the first hill there's one laying down you see this first rock oh, I see him, see him. I see okay him. so if you go straight up yeah I see him there's another one uh, looking to the left yep. and if you go to the right of that one which is another male there's a bunch of females there's like eight or nine females with a with a young I mean what apparently is a young uh, a young male In the gully, it's it's down at the bottom by himself. Yeah, I see him. He's a very good looking chamois. Yeah, I see him. And he's by himself, he knows his females are up above him, so he's back to us. He's the one we're looking for. Okay, so we yeah, the wind is perfect, so we're going to try to put a stock on to get a bit closer because it's a bit too far. So do we head up this way and cut back? I don't know what the idea is, but we'll make a plan to get around in that place. Yeah, yeah. The wind is sort of swirling. If you go there, the wind will go up there. Yeah, at the so cliff, so we'll go this way and get a good position and just wait for the shamwa to present a, a good yeah. position, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we've, we finally spotted our guy. He's good looking shamwa. He looks very old. He's, he's the dominant male, clearly the dominant male of the herd. So we're going to see if we can get close to him the females are a bit spooky but he's down below so i think we might get a chance of getting a good shot and a good position from right in front of us so, so let's see
shoot. It's DR, like the hell of it. Reload, <laughs> reload. <laughs> reload. <laughs> yet, yet. Reload, stay. Stay with, him, stay with him. Stay with him. Stay with him. No, stay with him. Good shot, solid. John. I hit him solid. Good shot, John. Good shot, John. Yeah. Very good shot. He's kicking, he's down. Yeah, just just stay with him. Yeah. Just in case, I mean, he's dead. I could see the bullet flying perfectly through the sc spotting scope. Yeah. So. You got yourself a super Thank good you challenge. Me. Thank you. Put the safety on. Well done. Kiko, gracias. La tira oblicua, tira bien, eh? John. Good yeah. shot, man. Good shot. Good shoot, huh? Okay. Well done, good man. Thank you. Uh, nice talking. So we got the chamois. Good approach, good stalking. John did a great job on him. He just was perfect shot. I love the best, best thing right through the heart. Right he dropped down. like a rock, eh? Yeah. John. Beautiful. <laughs> well done, man. Beautiful. Very glad he's look gorgeous looking, eh? Look how the hair he's got. He's got the winter coat pet for it. The shape is perfect. He's old. He's old, huh? Look how pretty they are. Yeah? Beautiful face. See the colors? They're like warriors, huh? Hey John, so we got the work done. It's a beautiful one. Beautiful. Well done. We saw a, a few chamois, but we we thought it would be a good idea to to move further on to to try and look for this guy that we knew of. He's an old guy. He by, he, he was by himself, and he was the dominant group of the of the other herd that we saw. So we got a good stock, and you put a per, a perfect shot on him. Yeah, an older one, nine nine ten years yeah, old. Yeah, nine ten years old. Did you expect this when we first met at no, SCI or not? Beautiful. Last year. What's even better, the hike? <laughs> yeah, and we've got some very nice, nice views. It's, it's gorgeous. It's only 12 in the morning. Three hours, four hours in, I got our first, our, our first one. So wonderful. Well done on. Thank you. Thank you for congratulations, me. eh? Beautiful scenery, amazing animals, amazing people. It's a good day. Among the different mountain species that we get in Spain, which as you know, most of the people or the international hunters coming from overseas would, would basically have the four different ibex species as the main reference, people forget about uh, the amazing opportunities that we have to hunt both the Cantabrian chamois and the Pyrenean chamois. Uh, on my personal opinion, any mountain hunter uh, that is willing to achieve what a true hunting experience really means. Uh, I mean, it's it's coming to hunt to the Pyrenees is is a must. Uh, we have a huge population of chamois. The mountains are beautiful. The accommodations that we provide, I mean, is obviously in the mountains, but is a very decent accommodation not far from where we hunt it's just a like 15 minutes drive um, and, uh, and 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 it's a wonderful experience from all points of view so so for everyone so for all all, all of those uh, willing to experience a true hunting experience definitely coming to the Pyrenees and hunt uh, Pyrenean chamois is something that they must really bear in mind and looking at the uh, footage that we will provide throughout the show most of <laughs> I hope that most most people will will agree on on this so for all of you who have been watching the video and enjoyed the experience that John and, and the rest of the team have had have had in the Pyrenean mountains of Spain 
and might be dreaming about living the same experience, uh, you know what to do. Get hold of us, uh, feel free to follow us on our YouTube channel and give us a call and we'll plan your future adventure in Spain with, with Camino Real Hunting Consultants in Spain. See you, see you here and stay tuned.